has been missing from school photography? It's simple, a single voice focused on the health of our industry. Since 1922, school photography has been an integral part in American education. The inception of school photography traces back to a superintendent in Philadelphia simply wanting permanent record prints. Look at what that one idea has morphed into today. Today, we have seen our images do so many things in education, from ID cards to student achievement. We really are a true partner in education. We have also seen our products serve families, including saving thousands of missing children through safety initiatives across this country. Unfortunately, we've also seen industries built off the blood and sweat of our work, yearbook companies and software companies. Now, with COVID-19, it's starting all over again, with temperature check stations importing our student images without your permission or licensing. Are we gonna continue to allow this behavior or are we gonna unite and save and protect our granted rights? Do musical artists allow their music to be used for videos or commercials or other products for free? Heck no. Why should we? Do you see other photographic industries allow their images or, or their copyrights to be used for free? I don't think so. The bad behaviors don't stop there. In many parts of the country, schools have taxed parents by adding quote unquote commissions or fundraising onto picture prices. While this has been allowed, it has absolutely crushed participation and infuriated parents with multiple children don't understand how their child at one school could have higher prices for the same package at another school, all using the same company just because one principal at the other school wants more money. Is that the company's fault? Parents sure tend to think so. And now our industry faces new challenges. The thought that schools could open in a soft manner and only allow essential workers in their buildings. What would this mean for you? So as the old phrase goes, can't we all just get along? I grew up in the school photography industry. My mother ran a local office for a national company. So by the time I was seven years old, I was a part of the family business. Back in those days, there was no child labor laws. Heck, I was opening envelopes in front of cartoons on Saturday mornings and then doing odds and ends around the studio till at about 15, I got on payroll and started to become a photographer. After graduating from Clemson University, I followed my mother's passion and stayed with school photography, but had the desire to move around and create my own destiny. After 30 years of being in this business and employed by two of the largest companies in this industry, I never thought I'd see the day our industry would come to a screeching halt. Just a few days into the craziness, I saw the bailouts coming from DC. Some, such as airlines, we've come to expect. But when I saw movie theaters, I was dumbfounded. Shame on our industry for not being unified and having a lobbying advocate. So at that moment, I decided to stop being a bystander and I wanted to do something about it. The best part of all this was having a company that not only saw my vision and believed in me, but allowed me to help organize and build it. We all have stories. However, I hope this story will be my legacy. I wanna fight for you. My vision is to build an organization that advocates for all school photographers across this great country. I wanna fight for you, for everyone in our industry. School Photographers of America will fight to make us healthy again by working with state and federal legislatures to ensure you and your company are essential services for situations like now in any future scenarios that could affect our country again. We will advocate to ensure we are in the thoughts and minds of every U.S. superintendent, governor, and state educational leadership. We will guarantee your voice is heard on Capitol Hill and in every school district, diocese, and charter schools across this country. We will fight to make our industry profitable and healthy again. We will make sure we never allow your images to be given away to others for profit without you being compensated. And if there is a violation with this, we will help and provide legal action on your behalf.
We plan to reform our industry and ensure that this rich American tradition stays healthy for generations to come. As I transition out of my current role at my current company and into this role as a full-time employee, I ask for your support, your help, and your voice. We already have the beginnings of an incredible support team. However, we need more. If you have the energy and time, I would love to speak with you. There are currently three seats available on our governing board, and there are four seats available on the executive board. Both boards are comprised of some incredible talented people coming from companies all over the country. I have to pinch myself every time I get off a video conference call with both boards, realizing how blessed I am to be part of such an amazing, talented group of individuals. So if you have a few hours to spare a month, and wish to help transform our industry, I challenge you to complete one of the applications we have either on our website or LinkedIn page immediately. So what is to come? We will be working with U.S. Department of Education and other safety organizations to align our services with the safety initiatives that are in schools today. We want to make sure Congress and all U.S. states and territories are educated in what we do and how we serve schools how your products and services help education each and every day. Last, we will be working closely with other industry organizations that license and copyright their work to build a platform for you to support you with a legal precedent that's already set. In addition, we will be building a robust team of individuals to support these causes for years to come. However, that can't happen without your membership and support. We are a nonprofit organization and all staff members will solely be employees of the organization, not affiliated with one company. Our job simply will be to support you. As we grow, we plan to build a robust online training center that comes with your membership. This way, all school photography companies can have an equal opportunity in learning. No hidden fees or upgrades. We simply want to provide a path for all to be successful and build a culture of consistency and strength for all school photographers. Last, our goal is to tell your story and share your amazing work nationally. This will happen through national advertisements and telling stories of who you are and why we're an American tradition. So please, join me and let's unite and make our industry healthy again. We have individual memberships listed already on our site. However, we plan to have company memberships available within the next two weeks. Please remember, we are only eight weeks old. We will constantly be building and changing just like the landscape of our country right now. So please simply know this. This is who we are. This is why we're doing what we're doing. And we ask you to join the greater good. I ask you to visit our website, Follow us on LinkedIn and request to join our Facebook group today. Thank you, and it's an honor and privilege to serve you.